Good evening, my name is Archie, and I do know my way around any cable. I really had an embarrassment tonight, and I wasn't going to talk about this because I don't want to embarrass the rest of you. Please don't get your menus out. I'm easily embarrassed. Those poor little crabs. You know they serve crab balls here? I felt so sorry. I wanted to get on the phone and call PETA. <laughs> Anybody here have crab balls tonight? Were they good? Were they big? Big and good, all right. Anyway, don't let this gray hair and beard fool you. I don't know as much as I think I do. Uh, getting old has its advantages. Uh, you can make mistakes and do things that uh, other people can't get away with, like forget to take a napkin off before you get on stage, things like that. Um, my wife will tell you that once I get dressed in the morning, I need to be inspected before I leave the house because I could have different shoes, different socks, button shirts. You know, the buttons don't always line up. Sometimes they feel one crooked and your collar is high on one side, and that's wives' job to make sure that we get out looking halfway decent. Now, another thing we older folk get away with, in public mostly, not at home so much, Farting. Someone else mentioned farting. Farting is one of these things when you're a younger person, people look at you. Uh uh, uh uh, don't do that. An older guy does it. People look at you, they smile, they move away. I can clear a room faster than any young stud in here. I guarantee it. One of the contests, call me. I have invented ventrilla farting. <laughs> Ventrilla farting is when you fart, and the sound, and we'll call it the essence, goes off to someone else. And if it's your wife, you really get into trouble. But what I really want to talk to, about, to you about tonight is, is on a more serious vein. As an older person, I want to share with you the art, and it is an art, not a science, of loafing. <laughs> loafing is something that I become a master of. Cats are known throughout nature as the master loafers. Cats loaf better than anyone else. I have outdone it. When I'm at home, when I'm at home loafing, my cats are taking notes on their paw pilots. They're sitting around me taking notes. I leave the house, the neighborhood cats are pointing at me with their paws and their tails. That's the guy, he's part cat. He's the man, he's the man. I actually got a 21 meow salute on the house the other day from the man with a cat. I learned loafing as a child. I started early. When I had to do homework, or at least when I wanted to relax and loaf, and I was supposed to be doing homework, I had a recording of myself typing. I would close the door to my room, I would put the cassette tape on, and my parents would hear. I had an old Brother International. Anyone remember the Brother International? $99 for the record, the book, the typewriter, and 100 sheets of paper? <laughs> on a tape. I was left alone for hours at a time to loaf. Loafing at home is easy. For men particularly, it's called puttering. <laughs> Any mechanics in here? House mechanics? All you got to do is climb under that car. They see your feet. They don't know your eyes are closed. <laughs> All you gotta do is every once in a while pick up a wrench and hit something metal with it. And they'll think you're working. It is great. It gets you out of a lot of other household chores. The honeydew <laughs> list, you know those? Now, I don't know if my boss is still here or not, but uh, loafing at work is a little bit harder. <laughs> Unless you're older. The water fountain, your boss comes along and says, aren't you working? What are you doing here? I'm giving these youngsters the benefit of my training and my experience. Oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Now, as we go through life, we slow down a bit. That's loafing. You know, at 60, you're a super loafer. At 80, you're a master loafer. At 90, the slab may be cold, but you're still loafing. <laughs> Another thing older people don't have to put up with is children. I'm allergic, physically, mentally, spiritually allergic to children. And I'm sorry, I know there's a few in the audience here. 
I just cannot be around them. The white beard is a detriment around December. Okay, they come up to me. I dare not wear green shorts during spring because they think I'm a leprechaun. I don't know. Well, I was a boomerang kid, went to college, semester and a half, came back home, went to the Navy, eight weeks, came home, got a job, three weeks, came home, kept coming home. My parents were finally glad to get rid of me. They went to a nursing home to get rid of me. <laughs> and now my brother and I are at their house. And I don't know if you uh, younger folk know the word dibs, but my brother and I had not used the word dibs, as in I've got dibs on the stereo, I've got dibs on the car. Well, we, 50 years later, used that term dibs. I got dibs on the stereo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got the Harley. That has added youth to me and a lot of vim and vigor. Vroom! I am back into that youthful self that I used to be, ready to start all over again. Thank you very much for your attention.